Hi, welcome to the channel. This is a three-minute theory video where we explain a theoretical concept in around three minutes. Today's theory is the concept of the subaltern. The subaltern is a technical term in post-colonial theory for a certain kind of marginalized person. It is a person who fits within the model of the oppressor-oppressed dyad as being so marginalized as to not even have the voice of the oppressed. So, symbolically, we might say that the colonizer is self, the colonized is other, and all of those who are invisible to both self and other are the subaltern. Gayatri Spivak has the most theoretical look at the subaltern, and her work is still the starting text for discussion of the subaltern, based on her article, Can the Subaltern Speak? The answer to the title in her essay is no. The subaltern does not have a voice. Indeed, technically, once a subaltern has a voice, they are no longer the subaltern. They become other, merely altern. One example in history is the colonial example. For example, in the British colonization of South Asia or India, those who are othered by both the British and the Indian elites are the subaltern. Those in the margins are further marginalized towards invisibility. Groups like rural women, the Devadasis or temple dancers, the Hidras or third gender, the scheduled classes or untouchables are pushed further into the margins by colonialism. To varying degrees, the access that people of these groups have to the centers of power are minimal to non-existent. Ray Chow adds to our understanding of the subaltern and the category of the native. She argues that Part of the problem of attempting to find the voice of the subaltern is that it may be impossible to really communicate between the subaltern and the rescuer. It may be the case that the very act of recovering the voice of the subaltern can be the act of translating an image that imperialism can make sense of. That is, our attempt to retrieve the native from its absence in our imperial histories can easily become a kind of co-optation or appropriation that becomes more about our own visibility than that of the native. A good example is the romanticization of Indigenous Canadians, who have to carefully show themselves to white Canada only in ways that Canada can hear. This makes certain ways of being and knowing inaccessible, and maybe even unintelligible for non-natives, or even some natives themselves. So, to sum up, the subaltern is a technical term to speak about some of the processes of marginalization that happen within the colonial and the neo-colonial situations, identifying demographics of people who are inaccessible to the centers of power. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and like and leave a comment.